so we are going to now discuss um, the control setup and um, how that works on the towel. Um, what I've done is taken the deck that we built before and attached it. And this is attached in the same way we attach these servos and the, the RC components. Um, and there's just zip ties holding it down. I've used four. If you can add, you can put an extra set here if you want. Um, just punch through um, the coroplast and the foam and then back around and, and zip tied down. Um, the plans indicate where to put the cutouts for the prop and um, you want to align this nice and straight. The prop shaft needs to be going straight back. This can be a little bit askance, it's not a big deal, um, but the prop shaft does need to be go straight back. All right, um, doesn't need to be super precise, but it just helps um, to get it as close as you can get it. Now, let's discuss the um, servo horn. This is a servo horn that I have attached, and the key here is that you want to put the servo so that when it's at neutral, it is 90 degrees or perpendicular to the plane of the deck. So I'm going to start up the radio, make sure the throttle is down, and then I will turn it on. We've already bound this. Throttle down. The trims are neutral. You can see the trims here. These are trim tabs that are minor adjustments of, of uh, aileron or roll, and this is pitch. So we want them neutral and in their center, center positions. And then we're going to turn the airplane on, plug it in and we are now at neutral position. All right, so um, before you screw this in, you want to uh, you, you, you turn the radio on, get it in neutral position, then you'll add this um, control horn on and then screw it in when it's looking like this. They can be a little bit off, these two, the two should match um, as much as possible, but they tend to just be a degree or two off just because of um, how the splines are. These can be a little difficult to put on, you just kind of have to keep at it, um, eventually it'll fit. Notice that I have drilled um, a hole in the control horn to accommodate the size of the coat hanger control rod. And um, for beginners, I would suggest you drill it a little lower, a little closer to the, um, to the spindle here, so that maybe um, halfway down the second hole up or something like that, you can always make it um, higher later, which will result in a more responsive aircraft. You're going to bend the control rod um, in this fashion. It's a U-bend at this end using a coat hanger. We put it in a little kink here. This is going to allow us to adjust the trim um, mechanically so if we don't like what the surfaces are we can just sort of bend this a little bit with a pair of pliers and get either more length or less length um, depending on what the trim needs to be. And then finally it ends in a 90 degree bend like this which is going to um, be how we attach it to the Elvon. All right, and the Elvon is here with the control horn attached. So I'm just going to attach this one now. Um, so we put that through here. And what you do is you basically want the, uh, the, pl the, the, the I've already punched a hole in this um, coroplast, so I'm just putting it through that. And you can see we now have a nice firm connection to the, uh, to the um, Elvon. Um, the, the 90 degree bend is right over the hinge line. That's where I prefer to have it, but I've had to sort of hollow this out a little bit of the foam to make sure it clears. You can also just move it back a little bit and put it on the back of the hinge line on top of the Elvon where the, the angle cut is. Um, that'll work as well too. Um, just make sure these are even because we want both of them to move up about the same amount. All right. If you have these at different levels um, um, back and forth on the Elvons, they'll move different amounts and it'll be quite annoying. So there we have two connected Elvons and they do very well. So when you attach, when you, when you calculate the length of these control rods and attach the, uh, the um, control horns that we have there, we want it to have about this much um, up trim, which means that um, we can just sort of put this on there and we'll have a, we can put a little weight here and do um, all the attachments so that we try to dial in this amount of reflex or up trim in the, in the Elvons because this is the flying trim of the airplane usually. Next is attaching the prop. The uh, motor should turn in a clockwise fashion. You can just check it gently with your finger and see whether it's going clockwise or not. Um, don't spin the motor up really fast um, um, without a prop on it. But I can just do it just a little bit with my finger and it's going clockwise, that's good. I've attached a prop saver, which you can see right here, which is quite simple. You just put in two, these two screws and screw it around the shaft. And then you have um, uh, 
and then uh, make sure that you have the right size collet to the front because that is that one of them fits this quite nicely and the other one's too big. Um, so you just slip that on. Um, additionally, you want to have the writing on this prop. There's a little bit of raised writing on one of the blades. You want that going forward. All right. And then we take the prop saver rubber band or an O-ring. You can just use a regular rubber band for this as well if these break. Um, and you just take this and you wrap it around. It's a little bit tight at first. You may need to stretch it a little bit to get it going. And then we now have an attached prop. And basically, I'm ready to work with the airplane. <laughs> All right. And that is up, down, left, right. All right. And this is what the trim tabs do. They move them around just a little bit. That's up, down, down trim. That's neutral. A little bit of left, a little bit of right. And that's how the trim tabs function. All right. So we now are pretty close to having a ready to fly airplane. You cut in the slots for the stabilizers and slap them in. And you want to make sure that your center of gravity is about 12 inches back, which is at the beginning of the, um, which is at the beginning of the, um, of the prop hole. So the center of gravity will be um, at the front of the prop cutout and you want it to be either out here or a little forward. More, probably a half an inch to an inch in front is not a problem. You control that by adjusting what the, where the battery is placed. Um, and do this before you go out the door to make you know, to fly so that you, you know, take care of any difficulties in the shop. If you have to add some weight to the nose or to the, to the rear, you can do that, but you shouldn't. These are designed to come out at the right weight. And um, there we go. Um, this one is, this is balancing about right there. I don't have the stabilizers on, so it's a little bit more forward. But there you go. And that's how you sort of basically check it. All right. So we now have an airplane that's basically going to be ready to fly, and you go and you fly it.